astrology forecast for Saturday, August 31st. So the moon is in Leo energy all day, giving us a little bit of a flashback to Leo season, what we learned, what we learned about ourselves, what we learned about our wants, our needs, our desires, and now the parts of self that need to be fully expressed through this physical form. We are tapping into a boldness, a bravery, a courage that we forgot that we needed in order to make improvements, in order to make the changes and the transformations in our physical realm that we know that we need to make. However, today being the last day of August, the last day of the 6-8 vibration that we've been working in, we're definitely going to have some major activations, some major pop-offs, because of course, this is the last day that Uranus will be direct and the last day that Pluto will be retrograde in Aquarius energy. So if you haven't listened to the September energy forecast as of yet, that is out there. If you want to jump over to my Patreon, you can listen to it there. It will go public on YouTube on the 1st. And of course, we have Astro Forecasts, we have Virgo Season E-Guides, we have Zodiac Forecasts that are coming at you over the next couple of days. So definitely stay in tune. You can find those forecasts when they're available on my website. And of course, if you are a Patreon member, jump over, take a listen to your sun, your moon, your rising to get the full picture on what September is actually about. But we do have to wrap up August 1st. Well, 31st, should I say. And with 10 different aspects and seven of them involving the moon, we are definitely in for an interesting day of fine tuning our inner emotional realm. So we kick off the day with the moon in Leo energy, trining beautiful interaction with the North Node in Aries energy. The North Node is trying to get us on the right path, trying to get us to be a little bit more independent, go on a solo quest, a solo adventure to fill our own wants, needs, and desires. This is a try, meaning this is a gentle nudge in the right direction. We are thinking about futuristic plans, options, and opportunities. We are bold and brave and courageous enough to pivot to spontaneously pivot and make the moves that need to be made in order to break free from the old world, the old cycle that the old version of self has built and created and actually start pursuing something new, something exciting, something inspiring that our heart and soul wants us to do. Mars, the god of war ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger. He's in Gemini energy and he's going to be making a very interesting, it's supposed to be a positive interaction. However, I don't feel, think it's going to feel very positive it, with Uranus, the great awakener, who of course is stationed, standing still, waiting to retrograde here on the first. So what does this mean? Well, first of all, Uranus being the great awakener who likes to shock us, likes to th throw wild card curveballs at us. Uranus is in Taurus energy, a fixed earth sign, which means that there's a lot of resistance to making the changes that we know that we need to make. Mars and Uranus, let's think about a lightning bolt of energy coming from Mr. Uranus, and let's talk about the god of war really absorbing that particular lightning bolt of energy. First of all, this is going to highlight indecision. Mars being in the Gemini energy, we've been on the fence about some options, some decisions anyways. We are definitely going to feel the restlessness, the anxiety, really kind of the ants in our pants take hold. We are back and forth and up and down and all over the place. Reason being, we're struggling with the idea, with the concept of busting away from what it is that we've been doing and actually dancing to the beat of our own drum, going our own way, being independent, doing what we have to do for ourselves. We're struggling with that. We are having a little bit of a, I'm going to call it block in bringing our real true wants, needs, and desires into realization. We're having a hard time expressing how we truly think, how we truly feel, what we truly are passionate about. We are on the fence. We have this urgency, this impulse to take action, to make moves, but we're just going around in circles because we don't have a plan. We're wrestling with this inner conflict between our heart and our head. Part of us wants to rebel against what it is that we've been doing, push ourselves away from the circumstances that again, have us feel exhausted, have us feel trapped. On the other hand, we need to come up with a plan, or so we think, 
in order for us to make the moves that we know that we have to make to create a different realm, to create a different reality. We're all over the place. There's a lot of jumbled thoughts, jumbled energy. We really don't know where to put our time, energy, and attention. So this is a very challenging aspect. And I know it's a positive aspect, but it's a challenging one because we are at war with ourselves. There's a lot of agitation, a lot of frustration that is going to be highlighted to show us where it is that we're essentially afraid of doing what we know that we have to do to break away from the same old, same old and create something new, pursue something new, bring something new to life. The moon in Leo, then going to make a positive interaction with the sun in Virgo energy. So of course, emotionally speaking, we are going to have a new level of awareness of our wants, our needs, our desires. Anytime that the moon and the sun come together in any kind of interaction, there's going to be an aha moment. The moon in Leo energy wants us to tap into this creator force energy, wants us to be bold and brave and courageous enough to break away from societal conditioning from the same old, same old and do what we need to do to fulfill the wants, needs and desires within our soul self. The sun, on the other hand, shining a bright light and the Virgo energy needs us to see where there's room for improvement, where there's room for adjustment, where there's room for change and transformation, starting with our mental plane. We cannot pursue a path of creator life force energy if our heart and head do not agree. And at this particular juncture, our heart and head are not on the same wavelength. Now, that being said, we're trying to get on the same page. However, the Virgo energy needs to focus in on the smaller details of the path, the plan, the strategy that we need to feel comfortable with before, emotionally speaking, we feel good enough, confident enough, bold, courageous, courageous enough to actually follow through with said action, with said plan, with said strategy. Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, and how it is that we express ourselves in the heart and soul of the Zodiac in this Leo energy, going to make an awkward interaction with that North Node in Aries energy. So this is fire on fire action, which could either spark, um, let's going to say, area of interest, passion, and excitement, or spark enough agitation and frustration for us to burn ourselves out and burn ourselves down. Mercury being the headspace, the North Node being the path forward, we are starting to think about different steps, different options, different opportunities that we have to actually get our heart and head on the same page so that we can engage the physical body to take action and make moves in a new path, in a new direction where independence is the name of the game. The moon in Leo then going to make a positive interaction with Uranus, the great awakener, who again, standing still prepared to go to a retrograde position. This is definitely going to give us some insight, some insight on what is blocking us, what needs to change. Again, when Uranus goes retrograde in this Taurus energy, we are going to have a shake up and a wake up in our physical realm to illuminate where it is that we have the death grip holding on to the same old, same old, even though we've been praying for the change. This is going to be an inner realm reflection on where it is that we have to operate from a new level of awareness, of boldness, of bravery to do the hard thing, which just happens to be the right thing which means that major changes are going to be taking place not only in our inner realm, but in our physical realm as well. We are feeling at this particular point in time, like there's an aha moment, like we're gaining a little bit more clarity on where it is that we are essentially blocking ourselves from moving on, moving forward and making some progress in a new path, in a new direction. We have Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings also in this Gemini energy, furthering the divide, furthering being on the fence, furthering the indecision. Jupiter is going to be making a positive interaction with the North Node in Aries energy. So at this particular juncture, we're starting to feel good. We're starting to feel optimistic. We're starting to feel confident about one path, one choice point, one direction over the other. We're thinking about futuristic op options and opportunities to grow, to heal, to integrate the tough love life lessons that we've already kind of learned the hard way into the present moment to make an informed decision, mind, body, and soul on where it is that we want to go from here. This is about tapping into our creator abilities, standing in our power as an individual to do what we need to do to fulfill the wants, needs, and desires within our soul, within our own spirit. 
The moon goes ahead, makes a positive interaction with Saturn. Saturn is the Lord of Karma. He rules over roles, responsibilities, structures, foundations, willpower, and discipline. He's currently retrograde, doing an inner reflection and inner analyzation on our belief system. Of course, he's in the Pisces energy. So it has to do with, you know, what we believe we deserve, what we believe to be true. There are some old belief systems, some old narratives that need to be kicked to the curb. We have to build something better in the place of those particular narratives in order for us to actually have the want, need, and desire to push through the blockages, the challenges that we're currently facing that are keeping us in a state of paralysis. This particular interaction is going to illuminate for us a little bit of a reality check, not a harsh one, a positive one on where it is that we can, again, start peeling back the layers, removing some of the old aspects, cleaning out the space and the slate of the things that are no longer working for us and building something better in the place of the things that, of course, the old version of self had once built. Emotionally speaking, we are rising to the challenge. Again, there's a boldness, a bravery, a courage coming from this moon in Leo energy that puts us in a situation to dream a bigger dream and to realize the gap from where it is that we're at to where it is that we desire to be. And from that gives us a little bit of a framework on what needs to be closed, what needs to be removed, what needs to be released and purged in order for us to have the space to build something new. The moon is then going to semi-square Mars. So this isn't going to feel good. This is going to bring all the agitation, all the restlessness, all the frustration, all the anger, all the ants in our pants out to play. Again, Mars in this Gemini energy bouncing around from one idea to the next, wanting to plan and strategize a path of execution, but obviously getting hung up on some of the details. We're on the fence. We're doing the back and forth. We're weighing the pros and cons. And this is definitely, definitely creating a little bit of a hit in our confidence, in our boldness, in our bravery. This is when we move from the big proud lion, the king of the jungle, into the cowardly little kitten. Emotionally, it does not feel good. However, we can learn a lot from the frustration, the anger, the restlessness that we're currently having on what we're actually passionate about, what we truly want, what we truly desire. The moon is then going to make an awkward interaction with Neptune. Neptune, of course, is retrograde in his place of power in this Pisces energy. This is definitely going to have us moving into La La Land, imaginary land, so to speak, because we really have to spend some time figuring out the kind of goal, the vision, the dream that we want to be manifesting. We have new wants, new needs, new desires. We have a new creative energy that we can be tapping into that will align our heart space with our higher self to give us a visual, some intuitive insight on where it is that we need to go from here. This could bring up a lot of confusion, a lot of emotions that are lingering, preventing us from actually seeing where it is that we need to be as clearly as we would prefer. But at the end of the day, we cannot run, we cannot hide, we have to boss up, we have to be bold and brave and courageous enough to not only identify what it is that we want, need and desire, but identify the fears, the doubts, the insecurities preventing us from going after what we actually want. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in Leo energy, making a very harsh interaction with Saturn. So, of course, this is going to be a not so nice reality check where we're a little bit down on ourselves, where the negative narrative definitely takes hold and takes over. Again, there's a lot of destabilizing energies really putting us down into that heart space, being triggered and activated by where it is that we feel trapped, where it is that we feel held back, where it is that we feel restricted from actually moving on and moving forward. Spoiler alert, a lot of it has to do with our headspace and our belief system. There's a restructuring that is needed in order to free us from some of those negative limiting beliefs. And when we do just that, we will find that the energy flows a lot easier and it pushes us into a new visual on what needs to be built, what needs to be created, what we need to do, what we need to pursue from here. 